Alien. Are you a big Alien franchise guy? Mm-hmm. I love Alien. There's a new uh, TV series on Hulu apparently rumored to be coming out from the director of uh, Fargo. Fargo showrunner is apparently creating that. But there's also, Andrew, a new movie in the works to be coming to Hulu. We're going to talk about this movie from the director of The Evil Dead. Apparently, this is what I like about this. This is what I really like about this, Andrew, why I'm excited for this Hulu movie. First of all, there's a Predators movie coming out on Disney+, Plus, which also might be Hulu. That I'm excited for it too. That's from the director of 10 Cloverfield Lane, which I'm a huge fan of. Love that yeah. movie. Yeah. Can't wait for that. So I really believe in that. That one sounds, if you don't know what that one's about, we're going to talk about it on the channel eventually because I'm really excited for that movie. But this alien movie has me also excited because the idea is that the the director of Evil Dead, I believe his last name is Al- Alvarez. I haven't seen the new Evil Dead. Fetty Alvarez. Yeah, it's Fetty Alvarez. There you go. He pitched this like casually to to um ridley scott years ago he pitched this movie idea to ridley scott for alien years ago and ridley scott says it was just something that he couldn't stop thinking about after all this time and now he's like let's just do it and hulu seems perfect the budget's going to be low so it's going to take them more back to their roots all this is really exciting to me because i think the terminator franchise needs to do that because i saw terminator dark fate and i said what are you doing you need (laughs) to stop it like that movie could have been something and instead it's like this is what people like we'll just do what they did the first time but have it make no sense you're like well it made sense the first time and i like that you strip them down you make them tell a story and it seems like he's passionate about it and it's an idea that ridley scott could not get out of his head and i love that idea because you know creed the movie creed was kind of similar as well where where coogler was like he had this idea and he wanted to do it and stallone was like you know we got enough with the movie and coogler's like no we got to do it he was very passionate about it and i think and we talked about the Batman a little bit and the Joker. And these are movies that are passionate. These are filmmakers who are passionate about the material that they're making. And if you're passionate about it, don't just let the studio be like, we're making a new alien movie. Let the filmmaker say, hey, this is what I love. Let's do it. Yes. And anything, I mean, Ridley Scott seems just like the most grouchy, crusty old curmudgeon <laughs> on the planet. So if something is going to get him excited then it's something that I want to see. Uh, like, what can get that man's pulse to quicken? It must be something interesting. It must be something cool. But these news stories about this movie, about this project, they confuse the hell out of me, James, because they specifically say an Alien 5 movie, but then they go on to say it's not set in the continuity of the other Alien movies and it's completely yeah. removed. So... That's fine, but just don't call it an Alien 5 movie. Just say another movie set in, you know, an, an Alien reboot or something. I don't know. I'll uh, probably but, just call it Alien. <laughs> probably at this point, yeah. Uh, but it's just every article I find is calling it Alien 5. And I feel like, what are you doing? You're you're contradicting yourself. Um, it's, so it's going to be smaller. It's going to be lower budget. It's going to be a very personal story. That's all exciting. The first Alien was small. It was low budget. It was a personal story. Um and as of right now, the Alien franchise's timeline, which I am a big fan of, I think they've done a good job of it, but it's sort of in a spot where I, it doesn't feel like they themselves are interested in continuing. You know what I mean? Like Covenant, it, it feels like Covenant ended on this, not even a cliffhanger, but it ended on this big note of like, things are going to get worse before they get better. But it feels like Fox and Ridley Scott and whoever have no intention of showing us that, you know, like, yeah, David has all those uh, embryos now, whatever, the end. Like, it doesn't feel like they care enough to make a sequel to Covenant. So if they're going to make another movie, I would rather they make something they do care about. So sure, give us this other one. I've never not had fun in an alien movie except AVP 2 Requiem because, (laughs) because, uh, I just yeah. watched that uh, like a year ago. Last summer, I watched Aaron and I watched all of the uh, Alien movies. We were just like, because she loves them. And I was like, oh, let's watch them all. So we watched them all. And uh, we got to that one. I didn't How many not... times did you have to adjust the brightness on your TV? <laughs> Never. I have a good TV. It was it was intriguing, though, because it took place right after. Like, they were like right in. I was like, I was like this movie is going to be bad, but it should be good. And I watched it. I didn't. I didn't think it was as bad. No, what? It wasn't as bad as I. It wasn't as bad as I anticipated. We'll leave it at that. 
It was. <laughs> I think I was expecting something because of what I had heard. I never mm-hmm. saw that one before. I saw the first one in the theater, and I saw it another one or two times after that. But uh, yeah, I, Aliens fun. I, but I, I just I really believe it. I really think they have something going on here, and I think they're excited about it. And uh, I'm excited to see what comes from from Alien. That's it, really. 